They're looking at whether existing federal money, existing federal money, they're not even talking about new money, can be used to provide small business loans to East Palestine, according to two people. They're also considering infrastructure improvements in the area. That could potentially be good. The talks are described as highly preliminary, and they might not do anything. So, I mean, why would you do anything? It's just a disaster. It's one of the worst environmental disasters of our lives and a huge PR disaster for the Biden administration right now. Why wouldn't they be highly preliminary? I mean, I'm pretty sure the derailment was 25 minutes ago. You haven't had weeks to discuss it at this point. It's probably gonna take six to eight more months. And then when you give them the money, I'm not even saying that giving money to small businesses wouldn't be a good idea. Many of these businesses are at risk of potentially going out of business if a lot of people are moving, but they're not the only people that need help. Just like literally cash transfers to the individuals who live in the affected area is a very easy thing to do, would be wildly popular in East Palestine. And even Fox News would have to at least be silent on it. There's no way they could attack you for that, I assume. Jordan. The, the people who lose the most here are the people who have to relocate, who aren't small business owners. I'm so tired of that being the response to every crisis. Oh, We just need to give loans to small business owners. Not everyone owns a business there. And many of the business owners there might not even live in East Palestine. Yeah. So like how many are franchises, right? It's a very small town. How many business owners are there there? But if you have like so many Americans, most if not all of your equity and wealth tied up in your home. Oh my God, yeah. And this happens in your neighborhood, who's gonna buy your home? You just have this possibly underwater asset, you can't sell it. But then you have to relocate with what money? What about them? What about people who are renting and they don't have anywhere to work now and they have to scramble to find a job? What are the, yeah. what about them? It's I am so tired of small business loans being the response to a crisis. I mm -hmm. at this point I don't care. I'm sorry. Yeah. I just don't care. I want I want a single policy that puts people who are the most affected who don't have the money or the access to money in these situations to get help first. Yeah, look, I, I agree. And, and honestly, if you just give it to all the residents of East Palestine, then in theory, the business owners who live there will get the aid. I would even be fine, I'm fine with it being a part of it, but just a part of it. And, and I will remind everyone, this feels like, well, it's a tragedy in its own right and deserves to be thought of and responded to as one. This is also like kind of a preview of environmental disasters and the aftermath to come. So what we're getting right now, and, and you did a great job of alluding to the fact that you can't just sell the house if no one's gonna buy it. And think about how long it's gonna be before the first thing that people think of when they think of East Palestine isn't the toxic chemical burn. Our lifetimes, maybe, probably for the rest of time. Um, this is like Ben Shapiro telling people with homes on the coast of Florida, well, when the ocean rises, just sell. Yeah, that's a little bit easier said than done, bozo. Um, and we're already seeing like how little will there is politically to help out these people. This is a small community, relatively small amount of people who've been affected. What what's it going to be like when you know like all of the crop growing areas in the center of the United States are just wasteland? When the the ocean is like swamping multiple cities along the eastern seaboard, like these are significant problems to come. And we've shown that we don't have the collective societal will to deal with a tiny little test case. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.